Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to a very different video because lately most of my videos have been traveling because I've been on the road staying in my van. Today I got something very different for you. It does have to do with staying in the van because uh, I have a gaming channel of course and I do a lot of live streams and I couldn't take my whole PC setup with me on the road so I have this here laptop. The uh, MSI Thin 15. For the most part works pretty good. Um, while I'm out here on the road I've been able to do my live streams and stuff from it and it's, uh, it's been pretty successful. Except for a few hiccups with some uh, modded Minecraft stuff. But anyways, on to the point of this. Uh, I'm in California and I had visited with Sir Wolfwoods. And when I was talking about my MSI Thin 15, he remembered that he had some MSI RAM upgrade. They're actually, there's two of them. They're each 16. So, yeah, there's two of these, each of them 16. So I should be able to upgrade my laptop from 16 gigs of RAM to 32. Now, I've never like worked on PCs or laptops or anything, so this is all kind of new to me. I've looked up some videos on like how to do it. So don't take this as like me showing you how to do it. This is just me showing you that I am doing it. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. Seems like it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get going. So I went ahead and locked this table in so it shouldn't move too much while we're going here. But uh, anyways, we gotta take the bottom off. And there is a whole bunch of small screws all around it. And that is the first step. So I got a little screwdriver here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these little screws all taken out and also try not to lose them. Something I hadn't thought of that would be super handy, this is not magnetic. Um, so I think maybe I should be able to use this one, not to like pull them out, but just to like attach to them to be able to pull them out. Um, so we'll see if that'll work out, hopefully. Yeah, perfect, there we go, I got a little Tray. I'm gonna go ahead and set these in just so I don't lose them. But uh, that's basically gonna be the method. So I'm just gonna go all the way around and take all these out. Probably should have showed you. You've got a little sticker over that middle screw, so make sure you uh, you take that one out too. They got it. They got it hidden in there, and you wouldn't otherwise know about it. it makes it a bit trickier to come out. I should have taken that sticker off a little better. Well, it should be loose. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it out of there at the moment. Kind of got to try and just scrape that sticker out of there now, I think. There we go. Got it. That should be the last one. So now what you need is a pry tool. Everybody I've watched use plastic, so I'm going to do that too. You don't want to risk like damaging anything in there. But you're going to want to pry this away from here. Not sure where the best place to start is. There we go. Now, uh, I'm using a guitar pick. It's the only plastic, like, prying thing I could think of. This part I know is pretty tricky. Right here where the the jacks are. Because you got to, like, kind of pull it out away from those jacks. So that might be a little bit of a challenge here. Maybe I could work my way around the front first. Same kind of situation here. You gotta kind of get it away from the the charging port. I think it's mostly there. I think it's just gonna be this side that's gonna be a bit trickier. Somehow getting it pulled away from there. So I think I got it pulled away from everything else except for the headphone jacks. The one part that's not wanting to go. All right, so I did end up having to go with a little bit of a metal pry tool. I got this little tiny flat screwdriver. And uh, what I did, I 
put it behind there, behind the this piece of plastic, pried out, and then I stuck the uh, guitar pick in there to hold it out while I moved to the other side and pried out, and I was able to get that out past there. So now, this cover should be completely free and come off. There we go. There's the inside of that thing, if anybody was wondering. So this right here should be our our two rams, these two things right here. Now how they come out, I do not actually know. Oh, I see. I think there's little sort of clips there that hold them in. Bringing you in closer here so you can see how I move this. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it anyway. But there's these two little clips on the side here. Let me, these little clips, oh, if this will focus. These little clips right here, and these have to kind of pull out some, and then it'll pop up like this one, how this one has. So once that's popped up, I think you should just be able to pull out on it. I mean, if you were to push it back down, it would pop back in like that. So let me try this one maybe. I thought it would just pull out. Oh yeah, okay, it does. Just kind of gotta, just try and be careful with it, I guess. That's weird. These are like, I don't know if you can see on here. It's strange. These are, um, it says Samsung on there. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't want to focus, does it? Yeah, they're Samsung, which is strange. Wasn't expecting that. So anyways, we'll go ahead and pull this one out too. Then, should just be installing these ones. I think we're just gonna pop it in there like so. And then if we just push down on it, maybe we could pull these out a little bit to help it. Let's see. Okay, I was worried I might put them the wrong way, but they can only go one way. There's this slot in the middle there, and it's spaced differently, so it can only go one way on each on each side here. I just didn't want to put it in the wrong way. That should be it. You just slide it in there and push down on it, and it should click in. we go there's one in I kind of had to pry out those uh, clips a little bit there and two in and now I guess the only thing is to put it back together and try and turn it on and hope hope that it still works. <laughs> I guess worst case Ontario, I could put the old ones back in, right? So I just went ahead and popped the cover on the bottom. Uh, I didn't put the screws in yet because I want to go ahead and fire it up, make sure it's going to actually work before I put it fully back together. What's going to happen? Oh boy, it looks like it's working so far. So far, so good. Ayo, it's on. It's working. Let's, it's, it's not connected to internet, but it's going to try and open up Discord like it always does. It drives me crazy. Let's see what it says here. System. Uh-oh. What are you doing? About. Aha, installed RAM, 32 gigs. Nice. Ayo, so it works. Very nice. I freaking did it. <laughs> oh, there goes Discord. Frig off, Discord. Nobody wants to open you when we're not connected to internet. We have success. Installed RAM, 32 gigs. Uh, so, we'll see how it works for streaming tomorrow. Uh, I can go ahead now and put the screws back in. I'm not going to show that. Uh, what I will show you is at the back here, some of these clips back here, you kind of have to press in on them to get them to click in. You like get it all on there and then you kind of pull in on them a little bit. But it all should be back in place, looking pretty good. And now we got 32 gigs of RAM instead of 16. So very nice. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, different type of video. Uh, if you didn't know how to do this, hopefully it showed you a little something. Like I said, I'm not like really trying to put this out there as I'm showing you how to do it because this is my first time doing it. But it is that easy. Like if I can do it, you can do it. And thanks again to Wolfwoods for supplying me with some extra RAM. That should come in handy. Should be very helpful when I go to do my streams and stuff. 
but we'll see how it works out tomorrow. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop the like if you enjoyed, if this was helpful. Subscribe, turn on notifications, don't miss out on future content. Join the Discord, come by and chat. Consider helping to support by becoming a member for only 99 cents, but also getting yourself a bunch of cool perks. Other great ways to support will be checking out that merch, like shirts and hats, all of that cool stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Peace.